Hello, singing friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's Mickey here, your friendly neighborhood singing coach. Today I'm going to be doing a double header for my friend and viewer, Laura Hassani. We're going to be looking at the song Irisim, which means irises. And he writes, it's about the flower. The studio version was released in 1985 in her Homeland Songs Part 2 album. And she also sang the song live in 1994 with the Greek singer Glykeria in Hebrew and Greek. All right, and I will read you the words before we begin in English translation. It is, irises, her eyes are beautiful irises and my heart longs for her, come. I will surely die, I'll pick a flower for her, I'll surely die. Till dawn I'll wait for her, come. Evening descends and again she passes by and in my heart it's like a sword. Will I again see your two eyes? Come. The sun sets in her lips, the sun sets. The light of sunset is beautiful on her, come. The wind sails through her hair, the wind sails. Oh, how my night calls to her, come. Dawn rises and again she passes by and in my heart it's like a sword. Will I again kiss your lips? Come. Irises, the whole world is irises. Only her heart is a stone. Come. Awesome. So <laughs> I like this because it feels like it's like a Shakespearean sonnet or something, you know, like a really old school poetic longing for somebody who doesn't return your love, this like unrequited love. So very, very beautiful lyrics, very poetic. So let's Take a moment to look up the Greek singer that she duets with, Glykeria, Glykeria. Perhaps somebody can illuminate me on how to pronounce that name. Glykeria is a Greek singer active in Greece and Cyprus. She was born in 1953. And it says that her career has spanned over 30 years and is marked by several multi-platinum releases. On the 14th of March, 2010, Alpha TV ranked Glykeria the third top certified female artist in the nation's phonographic era since 1960. That shows you how long she's been around for that they're calling it the phonographic era. But it seems like she has had a very long and successful international career. So it'll be interesting to listen to this duet between these two greats. All right, so let's begin with the earlier version on Ofer's album, Shire Moledet Abe. All right, or Aleph Bet. <laughs> Oh, 
it there a moment so you don't get flagged. So I really, really like the island feel of this. You know, it definitely makes me think of like sipping a pina colada under the palm trees. I really like the simplicity of the melody. You know, it almost makes it feel like it's like a children's song or something, and it makes it very charming. And I really love her phrasing as well. You know, that da 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 There's a lot of space between her phrases. You can really hear where she's putting in the commas and making it sound like she's really speaking to somebody. It's not this long, one long run on sentence. It's all legato. So I really am enjoying her nuanced phrasing in this as well. Very, very beautiful so far. I also really like the modulation as well, that lovely melodic lift when it transitions from one key center and steps up. Very pleasant, lovely, simple little song. All right, so now let's listen to the duet version with Glykeria, live in 1994. <laughs> Just gonna pause it there for a moment. Um, first of all, that's a lot of gorgeous hair. <laughs> got beautiful beautiful hair I love it I want that on my head so I really am enjoying hearing their voices together it's really cute that like Keria is looking at the paper when she's singing the Hebrew probably because it's not her first language you know but that's something that you don't often see and I really like how like earthy her voice is it's almost like a little bit more worn you know like it has a little bit of grit to it which I like and also it's very low and deep and I wasn't expecting them to be harmonizing in the beginning with that lower harmony. I think their voices go very, very nicely together. So this is a really interesting take. You know, I wasn't sure how they were going to do this as a duet, if they were just going to trade off one part and then, you know, one of them sings one verse and then the other one sings the other verse. But this is much more interesting doing the harmonizing and doing the different languages. So very, very cool. 
hostess joining in at the end there too. Did she almost fall over when she stepped backwards? Did you guys catch that? I thought that was very, very nice. I enjoyed seeing everybody join in at the end. It definitely feels like a song that would be like a sing-along, you know, it feels like very folksy. I really, really like the sound of their two voices together. It's very complimentary because Ofra has such a bright, clear voice and then Glycaria has more of like a, a weathered, kind of like low, earthy kind of voice. So they go very, very well together. So I really enjoyed it. It's it's really cool to hear the song in a different context and it wasn't how I was imag imagining it would be. It was much more integrated, there are two parts. So I really enjoyed it. Thank you for the recommendation, Loris, and I hope that you enjoyed my reaction. I'll see you guys here next time. Until then, take care and of course, happy singing.